not guilty. That's the plea the founders of a brokerage firm charged with defrauding hundreds of local investors entered today. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Elisa Streeter. And I'm Mark Baker. The men were partners of McGinn Smith & Company. Prosecutors say they siphoned more than $2 million of investor funds into their private accounts. It is tonight's top story. News 10's Robert Boyd live in front of the federal courthouse with the latest. Robert. Well, Mark and Elisa, that's right. Tim McGinn and David Smith both pled not guilty today. Now, keep in mind, they were both indicted on 30 counts each regarding ripping off their clients and using their money for their own personal gain. However, according to the attorney, it's actually McGinn and Smith who are the real victims here. This is video of defendants Tim McGinn and David Smith, along with their attorney, E. Stewart Jones, leaving the U.S. Federal Courthouse Friday following their arraignment. They've been indicted on 30 counts each regarding fraud and tax charges. Gentlemen, can we get a word? You heard the words in the courtroom, not guilty. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI, the defendant's brokerage firm accepted $37 million from investors between 2006 and 2009, and more than $6 million of it was used illegally, including paying for homes in New York and Florida, as well as country club memberships. The victims are estimated to be in the hundreds. The victims of this fraudulent scheme run the spectrum of investors, from young first-time investors looking to build an investment portfolio to elderly people looking to safeguard their nest egg. What do you about all the victims in this case? Two of the victims are accused. What's next for you guys? Courtroom. When's the next appearance? Both defendants were released on $100,000 bond and are only permitted to leave the state for business purposes. Now, if found guilty on just a couple of these charges, McGinn and Smith could be spending the rest of their lives behind bars considering that each one of these counts, or almost each one of these counts, has a 30-year maximum in prison. Live in Albany, Robert Boyd, News 10.